Hello, thanks for joining me for another, uh, I don't know if this is a macro or not, I think it is, um, but we'll, we'll put it in there anyway. So this is from Poland, this is their Perla uh, Kemiloa, Kemiloa pills, 6% uh, ABV on this one then, 500ml can, um, and yeah, it's uh, picked it up at the road just uh, just earlier on. Um, I've had this beer a couple of times recently and I've you know what, I thought it was okay, so I thought I'd go ahead and uh, give it a review. Um, according to Untap, they're saying it's a pale lager, and it clearly says on the can, pills, so we'll go with that. Um, a little bit about this, um, this is the leading uh, product of the brewery, um, Perla, Perla Brewery Lebwitski SA, I'm, I'm butchering Polish up, which is obvious. Um, the finest quality ingredients use the best of uh, hops of the Librzycki region, and then original uh, centuries-old recipe have the greatest influence on the unique attributes of this beer. Its char char characteristic bitterness and the golden colour, owing to its a perla uh, Kimloa. Uh, is able to meet the demands of the most exciting gourmets and boast worldwide appreciation. So, lots of lots of it's a lager or a pills, whatever you want to call it. Um, just trying to think. Oh, water, yeah. Put it in there. There we go. I can't remember how much I paid for this. Um, it's a, probably about 150 or something like that. A little bit left in the uh, thing. Let's get the bubbles off. Put in a glass then. Crystal clear. Nice amount of carbonation. Half a finger of white frothy head. It's going down really quickly. Um, yeah, it's that, that, that classic uh, pill stroke lager look. Uh, clean. Um, Get aroma. Yeah, it's it's a little bit. I must admit, doing a review and then just drinking it as your leisure is different. I'm getting a very kind of um, dishwater, not dishwater, like cleaning um, detergent, uh, wash washing up liquid kind of aroma. Bit weird, but but yeah. Didn't really pick up on that before, but as I say, when you put your old uh, review head on, ah, let's give it a try anyway. Cheers. On the taste, though, to be fair to it, it's not bad. It's got a, a nice, it's got a slight lemon zest zip, if you like. Easy drinking. Um, there's a bit of malt backbone to just to fill in behind. Um, it's all right. It's, it's an easy drinking lager. Lemony, very clean, leaving a nice kind of that that lemongrass type feel on the palate. You know, it's it, it, it's a it's a it's a half decent lager, I, um, and uh, there's not much else to say about it. Um, if I was handed a few of these at a barbecue or something, I I would be pleasantly surprised. I only tried it the first time like last weekend. Um, I got one of this. Um, what else did I get? I got the Rangibu 8.5 and another Parish beer, but I can't remember. Um, threw the can out straight away, so. Um, but I've gone out this evening and bought another couple. I uh, drank one earlier. I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a, give it a review for the old um, Macro Weekly series. So I assume it's a Macro uh, brewery. I, I mean, I could be completely wrong. Doesn't matter. So we, we, we're going to put it in that bracket anyway. But um, it's certainly one of the, the, the better of the more kind of, um, well, it's from Poland. Um, and maybe not be like majorly heard of um, amongst like you know the, the usual 
kind of big boys in, in European um, sort of macro uh, beer scene if you like um, which you, you know they are but yeah there's not much else to it I want a little more taste it's an easy drinking pills um, there's a little bit of that kind of I don't know what hops are in this but it's definitely a, a hop a hop kind of feel to it, more of a grassy kind of slightly oily uh, lemongrass, lemon rind kind of feel to the beer, and it, it kind of lingers on the palate in a pleasant way, which a lot of these beers, especially in green bottles, you you know that you get that kind of skunky kind of cardboardy, wishy washy aftertaste. This is actually not one of those ones. It's more of a um, a pleasant, um, almost to the point where, like, like lager top, with a little bit of that kind of lemonade, um, kind of sweetness, just to, just to lift the beer up a bit. Although this hasn't got lemonade in it, but it, it's got that kind of feel, or lager top, um, kind of attitude, attitude, a lager top attitude. You know what I mean? That 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 kind of feel. Um, so yeah. Let me know if I've had this one before. Um, I'll just pour the rest of this in and we'll clear off. But yeah, it's, um, it's one to try. If you fancy something just a little bit different, I'd say with a little bit more flavour, I'd say, than the uh, the more regular ones. Um, check it out. I mean, give it a go. I mean, it's one of them one of them ones. If you, if you, if you want a, your, your local lager fix and you want to try something a bit different um, from, from the standard sort of stuff we get, um, um, I have no idea of distribution in the UK of this. I imagine it's around your local offie or whatever. Give it a whirl. Um, yeah, and uh, let me know what you think down below. Anyway, thanks for watching then, and I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.